Mm. Uh, that is a heavy one. Mm. Uh. Yeah, so this is my Hitachi CP X960 projector. It has XDA res XDA video, which is unspecial on it. Um, yeah. Previously, I guess previously owned by AD Tech Services, but it's mine now. Ugh. It's a big, it's big, I know. Ugh. Ugh. Ooh. I used this projector in my cinematics antics video. It's... See, on the front here, this is not the an original filter or a proper replacement. Because the original filter, it was like that foam that just comes off and it was sticking to everything. So I just replaced it. I took a paper towel, I actually ripped it in half. And I took one of the thin layers and just cut it into a piece. The projector runs slightly faster because it has to get air through the system. Because it's not as... It's not as fluent as the regular filter would be, but I don't have one of those filters, so it works. And it's just to make sure that dust and stuff doesn't get into the fan system, because otherwise that could be a safety fire hazard. It says over here not to look into the lens. Obviously, not to look into the lens. Ugh. No, but seriously, this thing is heavy. It's really hard to not crush your fingers if you're just trying to slide it. You have to, have to lift it up. But. Ugh. Take a look here. Just camera really quick. Here are the video inputs. It's got two RGB inputs, which are also v which is just VGA. It's got a control, which I don't know what that is. That might be a remote control. It does have an RGB VGA output though, so yeah. It's got S video composite. And it also has speakers at the back, so you could also install audio. It has a USB port too. Now if anyone who's out there who knows what that USB port's for, let me know in the comments because I don't know what that does. I didn't get any instruction manual or any peripheral that plugs into there. And I tried using it before, but I just don't know what it does. So if you let me know, that'd be great. Over here is the power input and the main switch. Sorry, chair hit I'm sitting on a chair. My chair hit the tripod. On this side, you just got Hitachi, you know, XDA. You got two speakers and an infrared sensor. There's the one in the front, in case you saw it. Honestly, that would be for a remote, but I don't have that. Anyways. Close. Over here, you got the main control panel. Zoom. It has power zoom and power focus. No, no adjusting knobs or anything. A mute button. A menu control system. Input select reset flip has a lamp, power, and temperature. So, in case it's like on, overheating, and stuff. And here is a standby button. All right. It's got this is the heat output vent. This is where heat comes out. It gets very hot, actually. It's like a space heater. Over here, it's the handle. And in fact, when I was filming my cinematic antics video, I actually had to turn it off because I was afraid that you know my bed would catch fire or something. Because it, it gets really hot. I'm telling you, it's a space heater. But yeah. On the bottom here, here's where you can replace the lamp in case it burns out. And here's some more model information. Yeah, I'll show that to you. Careful. Yeah. Uh. See, it's telling you all about standard high voltage and, you know, all that stuff, warnings. Uh, main Japan, so yeah, it's good. And over here are adjustable feet. You can screw them for position or press button for rough movement. One on both sides, and it's just this thing here. Rubber is actually in good condition, so it hasn't completely deteriorated yet. Don't know when this thing was made. Some people would probably know that. Tell me if you know. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to set this up and I'm going to show you some video footage. Alright, I got the projector set up here. Got the feet adjusted. Have a video input plugged in. See some my Nintendo Wii. Won't work. Um, got power hooked up. So, we'll flip this main switch. Then we'll just press the power button. 
and you hear it whirring. Oh, I forgot to mention earlier, it does get pretty loud. Oh. Hold on. Ah, there you go. And you can see the menu here. It's got, you got volume, brightness, you know, all that stuff. Input settings. You got your frequency. And you can select your video type. I have set to automatic. You know, have your image and your optical, or your options. So much of our stuff. Alright. Just hit a call. hear the microphone. If you can hear that. Yeah. So the speakers are working too. And there's a the video. Not too much to show here, really. It's just projector, like, yeah. Not too much delay. Oh yeah. Um, not going to be too much long of a video, but I just wanted to show you this projector. I have used it as a prop in my other videos, so I hope you like this video. If you want to like it, comment, and subscribe, you can do that. But I'm not telling you you have to. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll, I'll see you next time.